Um, we've had a lot of games with the Mercury like that uh, over the past, not just this year, uh, over the past two, three years since I've been in Seattle. And I think we have the ability to do two things with each other. We have the ability to bring out the best of each other, and I think we also have the ability at times to bring out the worst. But today's game, you saw a lot of good on both teams. And um, we knew that with them being the defending champs, they weren't going to go down easy. And uh, fortunately for us, we just hung in there. And you know, we talked about before the game how resilient we were going to need to be and persistent and just determined if we were going to come out on top. And obviously, there was some question there going down the stretch. But we made some plays defensively and hit some shots. Could you uh, describe what happened on the last play, on the play that Sue got loose and uh, hit? Yeah, I mean, they, we we talked about it. we had it we had it drawn up in the timeout before um, from before Sue even called one because we thought we might get the ball and not even use it and come down and just run it and it was just uh, you know we're gonna put Tanisha in a pick and roll and uh, try to get some action on the backside with Sue and Lauren and we thought one of them might get freed up and fortunately Sue got freed up she was pretty deep Bonner ran at her uh, but she. Um, you know, I, I've seen her do this multiple times in the last three years, just hit crucial shots late in the game. And uh, it wasn't a hard decision on who to go to in that, in that time. Um, if we go on to win a championship, that'll be big. Um, Speaking short of my career. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's definitely meaningful, you know, especially considering um, – you know, the last five years we haven't gotten out of the first round. Um, for us, you know, there was, there's almost a series of humps. We had to get over the hump to get out of the first round. And, and to be in the Western Conference Finals, uh, I know I didn't want to play Phoenix in game three. That would have been very, very hard. Even on our home court, it would have been very difficult. So um, the best part about that shot, the best part about winning this game, is the series is over and we have a week to prepare and to rest. So that right now is kind of more what I'm focused on. You just talked about the last, you know, five minutes. You guys are down by 13, but, you know, obviously you're not, you're not going to fold it up right there. Well, I mean, uh, there's been numerous times this year that we've been down, you know, in the final quarter and been able to sort of work, work our way back into the game. Um, that's just the confidence, I think, that we have in each other. And, um, you know, they relaxed a little bit, I think, and uh, we just took advantage of the opportunities that we got. And, I mean, even then we really, you know, uh, we sort of gave them opportunities as well. So, look, all I have to say is to my buddy, <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> well, in the last two plays. It is. Um, they're the defending champs. You know, regardless of what their record is, regardless of how their regular season may have gone, um, you know, in a way it was going to have to come through Phoenix. And uh, I think all the Phoenix players felt the same way. You know, they felt as if, I'm sure, if they would have won tonight, you know, it could have been anybody's game. Um, so to get it in a sweep is, is, is really big for us. Um, you know, and, and in order to win, you got to go through the best teams. And I think Phoenix right now is definitely one of the best teams. You beat them seven times this year. Can you guys just reflect on that? It's never happened in the history of the league before to beat another team seven times. Yeah, it's tough. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, we just, like I said, we're very resilient. And I think um, a lot of the games that we played here against Phoenix came right down to the wire. Mm -hmm. You know, that triple overtime game, there was another overtime game. You know, they know that, you know, we're able to come back at the end of games. And, um, <clears throat> look, I think, you know, talent-wise, they're one of the best teams in the league, without a doubt. Um, fortunately, as a team, we play really well together. We play good defence. And tonight, in the fourth quarter, when it mattered, you know, we did. And um, I think that's just a testament to our team and how we've, we've played all season. And then the final play... Um, we had a lot of time. We knew we wanted to take the last shot. We didn't want to give them an opportunity to even look at the basket. So Brian drew up a play, and it was basically for T to come off a of pick and roll and Lauren to down screen for me. And we, we ran it earlier in the game, and Lauren actually got under the rim um, and was able to score that way. So it was just one of those things where T had to make the read, and they kind of both ran to Lauren for a second, and I got open for you know, just enough time to get it off. Really sweet three. Was anybody close to you? Yeah, Duana Bonner. I mean, I think if you noticed, the shot went <laughs> a little, little on the high side. Uh, Duana Bonner was running out, and she's definitely lengthy. Mm -hmm. Is there ever 
a moment where you didn't think you could come back, the deficit was insurmountable, or is the confidence you talked about from doing it all season long such that you know you always believed? I think the fact that we've done it so many times this season, come from behind, um, I think we always believe. Of course there are times when you're frustrated or you're tired or they're playing so well that you feel like you can't do anything right. Um, and we had those moments as teams, as a team. But at different times, different people spoke up and really brought us back together. And with about five minutes when we were down, I think we were down 10, going to the free throw line with the opportunity to cut it to eight. I could be wrong. Um, in that moment, you know, we talked about it's just a, a you know, three, four possession game. That's nothing. In five minutes, that's really nothing. Not in the WNBA. So we just took it one possession at a time.